Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another tutorial video by Bingy James, your BA Sensei. And we're going to do a Power Query tutorial again. I love Power Query. It's got some awesome features. What we're going to be looking at today is running totals. I don't recommend doing running totals in Power Query. I recommend you do it in something like DAX. But some situations you can't really help it. You're going to have to do it in Power Query. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Function we're going to use, we're going to be looking at a list function. Lists are amazing. This function is the list range function. And what we have over here is, um, so it returns a list of uh, values. Um, so the parameters are, we take a list as an input, offset, and optional is the count. Okay, how do we use that? So, list range, give us a range of numbers 1 to 10. Cool, that's the list. And offset from 6. In other words, we need to start at seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to return that. Uh, second number, the second example with the second parameter. Okay, we're going to say, I'll tell it, give us a list. Uh, we have a list of one to ten. Start at six. So basically, offset six. So we're going to start at seven only for two characters. So seven and eight. How can we use this for our running turtles? Here's our running turtles. There's our raw data. We have a range of dates, and we got the sales amount. I want to do a running data per day. So. We're going to pull this into Power Query. Here we go. It's in. So now that it's in, I'm just going to convert this. This really bugs me. Make that a date. Okay, it's a new step. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly organize this data so it is from the first until it's from the oldest date to the newest date. So one of the parameters we're going to need for our list.range function is the index. I'm going to add an index column from starting from one. There we go. There we have it. And now we're going to add a custom column. Here we go. And this is going to be our running total. Excellent. So we're going to say list yes dot range. And basically the first argument is a list, but we're just going to give it sales amount. It's going to bomb out, but I'm going to show you what to do about that. Uh, what is the offset? Uh, there's no offset. And the count is the new index column we created. Yes. I'm expecting this to give me an error because that's not a list. And let's see what it's going to give us. And it's giving us an error. And you can see you cannot convert it to a list because we're actually just giving it salesman. It's not a list. So how do we fix that? Let's quickly go into there. So in order to make a list, I kind of want to point you guys to mQuery how it works is we need to feed it each row in that in order to make a list. So you can see the previous step was add index. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to say add index. That was the previous step was called that. And because I did that, it's going to create a, ooh, what did I do wrong there? Add did index. There we go. Excellent. There we go. So now it actually gives you a list object. So you can see on this first day, we have one item in the list. On the second day, we have two items in the list. The third day, we have three items in the list. And basically, we have a list output for every single day. So what we need, need to do now to sum that is just basically to use another list function called list.sum. That's quite easy. We're just going to give it a list to swallow. So we're going to say, Thank you. I'm going to do directly an M over there. List dot sum. Yes. And we're just going to close it up. And we're going to say, OK. Here we go. There's your running total. Returned beautifully. It's the first part of the video. Isn't that cool? So we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. Check. Now we have it in Excel. So now you can see the data there. So in the second video, we're going to take it a bit further. We're going to do a running total, but based on the month to date running total. So stay tuned for the second video.